we have Tijani Oladipupo, head of Nuremberger Advisory Partners, back with us for an equities update. Thank you, Tijani, for joining us once again. Let's get right to it. Let's start with trends so far at the equities markets. I was saying earlier how the market appears to be in a bullish run. Talk to us about what is driving this rally. Yeah, thanks Neil, uh, so much for having me. Uh, there seem to be quite a number of factors. Uh, it seems to be that um, uh, there's a high level of liquidity uh, due to uh, CBM policies uh, uh, in the last uh, couple of months, uh, much of which has, have actually culminated uh, to this period. And of course, there's also a uh, very high sentiment. Uh, we'll see that the wake of what has been the turnout of the MTN uh, initial uh, uh, institutional uh, investors equity uh, sale, uh, of course, running in excess of uh, uh, of, of expectation. Uh, we, it seems to be that there's a quite a number of positive uh, sentiment to the market, and that's on the back of the kind of earnings uh, investors are also looking to. Uh, that's also uh, in addition to uh, institutional investors. Uh, uh, pension funds, of course, running in um, uh, for the previous months, uh, going into the equities market as well. Let's talk about MT and Nigeria for a bit. Uh, post uh, share sale, it's expected to be, become the most liquid uh, stock on the market. Talk to us about how that reshapes the market dynamics, or maybe perhaps there won't be any at all, but just talk to us about what to expect. So, uh, obviously, I uh, would expect uh, in terms of capitalization, uh, we, we see, we see uh, MT and evolving as. Uh, in terms of uh, volume and size, uh, in terms of what we expect, if you see uh, one of the conditions of the retail, uh, uh, as, as indicated, uh, these are uh, the bonus shares um, uh, for the retail investors, for, for, sorry, for both retail and wholesale investors, and of course, on the condition that they're able to hold for at least a one year period. And that, of course, is expected to create a, um, a lot of uh, uh, kind of stability for the, for the stock, or on the back of which. Uh, uh, other than, uh, analysts uh, have expressed their concern uh, creating so much shares. As we are aware, uh, even up to about 20.5 billion, will the heat, it will be hitting the market between uh, uh, Q, uh, Q1 and Q2 next year. So we're hoping to see lots of activities uh, in some consequential markets, even while uh, this uh, class of investors that are currently being created are going to hold on to these stocks. Now, what, what are you telling your client uh, about this MTN stock and the sale at 169? Uh, I, I understand there's still a discount in terms of where the stock is trading today and this share uh, price, entry price for uh, both wholesale and retail investors. Of course, in terms of the hitting a stock price uh, trading uh, discounts uh, on the floor of the exchange, uh, we've seen that, we've experienced that before. But of course, in terms of what to expect in value, uh, uh, our intrinsic value has shown the stock uh, gradually um, up to, uh, in excess of a 200 naira per share, even though you're currently trading at a discount in terms of intrinsic valuation. Uh, so what we're telling our clients is that yes, MTN is a good buy. Uh, we've seen uh, the kind of expectations uh, the, 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 uh, the company is uh, looking to uh, play in the market uh, on the back of its um, five year strategic plan, uh, which was released a couple of months ago. Uh, and some of the expansions with expects in voice, um, uh, voice call arena, and then of course uh, in its uh, payment uh, uh, fintech system, uh, there's a whole lot of expansion going on. Uh, on the back of that as well, there's a whole lot of, of opportunities and what investors are to expect. So we tell the investors that yes, it is a good buy. All right, with the market, the OSHA index at uh, just over 5% year to date, talk to us about expectations for the rest of the year. I mean, just a couple of you know, weeks left, uh, but uh, who knows? Talk to us about that. So, yes, uh, we will we'll, we'll hope to experience a year end effect, uh, which, uh, like in the past, however, with the kind of liquidity and uh, sentiments thrown in the market, this may not uh, be significantly negatively impacted as experienced in the past. Uh, it will come definitely, but of course, we do not see any significant trend from significant uh, shift from what the market is currently doing. Well, talk to us about, apart from MTN Nigeria stock, what stocks are top on investors' radar, the ones that have been perhaps on full bid or significant bid, et cetera? Of course, investors are looking into the, in the direction of the financial services sector, uh, in the likes of um, uh, FBN, 
Uh, we've seen the, the recent announcements on, um, on uh, Access Bank in terms of its uh, non-operating uh, hold call. Uh, investors are looking into, dire in, into those directions in terms of um, what the expectations are. are. Uh, even though, if we look to the uh, H2 report, uh, quite investors' expectations haven't been largely met. But of course, uh, investors are still looking into that direction to see a very fruitful uh, uh, running out here for the banking industry. And of course, in addition to with the updates in the Omicron uh, 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 part of the health sector, investors are also looking into the health sector in terms of uh, probabilities and uh, what to expect uh, on the back of CBS policies are significantly improving these sectors. Well, talk to us about stocks uh, that uh, maybe not don't make headlines too often, but you know, still have strong fundamentals, can return good value to investors and uh, at great entry, po entry points at this point. Excellent. So let me uh, again uh, pick it from the banking stocks. Uh, currently, we have quite a number of them. Uh, Access Bank, as spoken to that earlier. Uh, GT Bank, um, of course, uh, uh, standing is also in that direction. And then, then of course, UBM Zenit. Of course, in the insurance sector, quite a running of fundamentals. You have custodian, and then, of course, you have Baxam. The package for industry. Uh, but still very strong group around down with sugar, um, money world flour mills. Of course, we've seen what is uh, playing out with um, uh, flour mills, uh, Calvary as well. And then, of course, in the group products, we're looking to Como and Presco, still very, very strong fundamentals. Uh, in the healthcare sector, I've spoken to that. Uh, likes of Fitzing, still run on the board, and of course, uh, name it.